Hi guys, this is IGCSE O level chemistry paper 22, November 2018, question 1. Oxygen and fluorine are gaseous elements next to each other in the periodic table. Under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, oxygen diffuses dash than fluorine because its dash is less than that of fluorine. So diffusion is faster when the MR is lower. And diffusion is slower when the MR is higher. And uh, the question asks, which words correctly complete gaps one and two? So it says that the dash is less than that of fluorine. So the MR or molecular mass is less than that of fluorine. So molecular mass should be the answer for blank two. So this eliminates options. B and D and oxygen diffuses should be faster because if the MR is lesser, then the rate of diffusion would be faster. So this eliminates option C and makes option A the correct option for this question. Question two, the diagrams show four pieces of laboratory equipment. We have a weighing balance, a pipette, a stop clock, and a thermometer. Which equipment is essential to find out if dissolving a salt in water is an exothermic process? So if we are dissolving a salt in water, the only thing we need is to check the temperature of the solution. So we do not require a weighing balance or a pipette or a stop clock in this experiment. So this makes option A the correct option for this question. Question 3. How many neutrons are present in the atom X, 21 and 45? 21 being the proton number and 45 being the nuclear number. So the number of neutrons would be 45 minus 21 which will give us a value of 24, which makes option B the correct option for this question. Question four, two naturally occurring isotopes of oxygen are O16 and O17. Which statement is correct? Both isotopes react with iron to form rust. Yes, they would, because the number of electrons would be the same in each of them. Neither isotopes react with iron to form rust. Both of them will. Only O16 will react with iron to form rust. No, O17 will also react. Only O17 reacts with iron to form rust. O16 will also react. As long as the number of electrons are the same in the atoms, the reactions would also be the same. Therefore, option A is the correct option for this question. Question five, how many electrons are used to form covalent bonds in a molecule of methanol? So methanol has three carbon hydrogen bonds. It has one carbon oxygen bond and one oxygen hydrogen bond. So for each covalent bond present, two electrons are required to make that bond. So this should have two, four, six, eight, and 10 electrons which makes option d the correct option for this question question six potassium bromide and methanol are both compounds their melting points are different which row is correct substance with higher melting point should be potassium bromide and not methanol because potassium bromide is an ionic compound methanol is a simple covalent molecule so ionic compound would have a higher melting point than simple covalent substances. So this eliminates options A and B. Now let's look at options C and D. So the reason why melting points are different, option C says the attractive forces between oppositely charged ions is greater than the attractive forces between molecules, which is true. The attractive forces between the oppositely charged ions are the electrostatic forces of attraction, also known as the ionic bond. So they should be greater than the 
attractive forces between molecules in methanol. So this is correct. And D, the attractive forces between molecules is greater than the attractive forces between opposite charge ions. This can never happen. The electrostatic forces of attraction are definitely stronger than the attraction between molecules. So this eliminates option D and makes option C the correct option for this question. Question seven, which gas sample contains the smallest number of molecules? So it would be the gas sample with the lowest number of or the smallest number of moles. So for four grams of helium, the number of moles would be four upon four equals one mole. For 16 grams of oxygen, the moles would be 16 upon 32, which is equal to 0 0.5 moles. For 28 grams of carbon monoxide, the moles would be 28 upon 28, which is equal to 1 mole. And for 28 grams of nitrogen, the moles would be 28 upon 28 equals 1 mole. So 3 out of these 4 options have 1 mole of the gas present, while oxygen is the only one with half a mole of gas present, making option B the correct option for this question. Question eight, the equation for the reaction between calcium carbonate and dilute nitric acid is shown. So the molar ratio is one is to two and for products is one is to one is to one. Okay, so 25 grams of calcium carbonate is reacted with an excess of dilute nitric acid. Which mass of calcium nitrate and which volume of carbon dioxide is produced at room temperature and pressure. So the mass of calcium carbonate is 25 and its MR is 100. So this will give us a mole value of 0 0.25. So if moles of calcium carbonate is 0 0.25, then moles of calcium nitrate will be 0 0.25 and moles of carbon dioxide will also be 0 0.25. So mass of calcium nitrate would be calculated by multiplying the number of moles by its MR. So MR of calcium nitrate is equal to 164. Therefore, 0 0.25 into 164 gives us a mass value of 41 grams. So this eliminates options A and B, and we will continue with options C and D. And the next is the calculation of the volume of CO2 one mole of any gas at RTP occupies a volume of 24 dm cube and we have 0 0.25 moles of carbon dioxide being produced. So this will be equal to 0 0.25 upon 1 into 24 giving us a volume of 6 decimeter cube eliminating option D and making option C the correct option for this question. Question 9. The formula of some ions are shown. Positive ions and negative ions. Which formula is not correct? So for aluminum sulfate, aluminum has a charge of plus 3 and sulfate has a charge of minus 2. The formula should be Al2SO4 price. So this is incorrect. For potassium phosphate, phosphate has a charge of minus 3 and potassium has a charge of plus 1. So the formula is K3PO4 which is correct. For magnesium nitrate, magnesium has a charge of plus 2, nitrate has a charge of minus 1. So the formula for magnesium nitrate would be MgNO3 twice. This is correct. And for titanium chloride, we have titanium with a charge of plus 4 and chloride ion with a charge of minus 1. So 4 chloride ions would be attached to 1 titanium ion forming TiCl4. This is also correct. So as a result, the correct option for this question is option A. Question 10. Concentrated aqueous copper to chloride is electrolyzed using copper electrodes as shown. What happens to the mass of each electrode during this process? So the positive electrode is the anode where oxidation occurs. So the metallic copper is oxidized to copper 2 plus ions, decreasing its mass. So this eliminates options C and D. And the negative electrode is a cathode where reduction occurs. 
so mm -hmm. copper two positive ions would gain electrons and deposit on the copper as copper metal resulting in an increase in its mass this eliminates option a and makes option b the correct option for this question